everyone welcome back to WS Cube in our today's session we will be starting with a new topic that is polymorphism in python in our previous session we learned about what are what is the getter and the setter method in python so let's quickly get started with what is polymorphism in python this polymorphism allows us to execute the same action in a different ways over here so for example if, if i want to explain poly polymorphism suppose we do the same thing but in a different way that is called as polymorphism uh, if I take example in the terms of Python, let's say when you want to find the length of a string. So when you find, want to find the length of a string, you use len and the name of the string. Similarly, if you want to find the length of a list, uh, all you do is write len and the name of the list is provided over there. So the method over there remains the same, but because we are finding it for the two different data types, it becomes different. So that is polymorphism that we are executing the same action, the same action ex executed for both of them, but in a different ways. Like that different ways over here means that uh, we are using different data types over here. The major use of polymorphism is with the in inheritance. We will be discussing that. So polymorphism uh, has two things over here that is um, overriding and overloading. So we'll be discussing that as well. First of all, let's take a small example of polymorphism. Before that, if you want to become a successful data analyst and if you want to learn from our experts live, then you can call on the given number or you can fill the form that is provided in our description. Not just that, with our every batch you will be getting two demo classes for free. So let's say I'm creating a, a string over here, a, a is equals to, hello, okay, and I will print the length of the string. For that, all I need to do is write len of a. Nextly, I'll be, and if I run it, I get the output over here, 5, that there are 5 characters over here. At the same time, if I take a list over here, L, L is equals to inside the list, I'll be passing, uh, let's say, a few elements, 1, comma, uh, 6, comma, 7, comma, 5, comma, 9. And if I close it and print len of L. So length of L, this one is for the length of the list, this one is for the length of the string. If I run it, I get the output 5. Let's add one more to it. Let's say I'm adding 10 as well. So I get the output 6 over here. So this is, this. what is this telling us over here? That the method over here remains the same. The method that we are using for both of them remains the same. But because they are, they are a different data types over here, here A is a string and L is a uh, list. This method, this this technique is called as polymorphism. Polymorphism allows us to execute same method, same uh, action, same techniques on different types. Okay. Now, uh, talking about polymorphism in uh, OOP. Let's take an example of how polymorphism work inside the OOPs with the help of the overloading. So, to take an example over here, I'm creating a class, company. Okay. And inside it, I'm creating a function that definition and I'll be giving it uh, its name to employee one and I'll be giving its name to employee. Inside, I will be passing the self parameter and I will also, I also want to create a parameter that is the name. Name I will be writing over here. Name is equals to, let's leave it empty as of now. Okay. Inside it, I'll be writing print the name of the first employee is comma name okay this is what i have done here i have set this name variable to uh, empty variable right now there is nothing inside it i have just opened the strings closed it and there is nothing inside it now let's create an object over here so i'll be creating an object as employee one is equals to company now, if I want to pass the value to this uh, function, th like there are two things. Once I can directly call this function by writing emp emp one dot employee and open close the bracket. Let's run and see what do we get. Let's see what do we get. So here it says the name of the first employee is and it's leaving it empty. Now what I'll do, I'll create, um, I'll write employee one again and I'll be writing employee. But this time I'll be passing a value to this name variable over here. So let's say I'll be writing John. And if I run it, I get the output. The name of the first employee is John. So now what you will see over here that I, I can call it in both the ways. 
but one time to the parameter i am providing an argument that means i am providing a value one time to the parameter i am not providing any value so it works in both the ways if you want to provide a value you can provide it with a value and if you don't want to provide it with a value you can you, uh, if you can leave it empty as well just like the way it is so that is this is called as overloading method over here overloading method over here allows us to decide whether we want to give a value to the parameter or not so the um, so this is the overloading method next we'll be talking about the overriding method the overriding method includes inheritance as i said in the starting that uh, inheritance is involved in poly polymorphism now what is overriding method that we will be discussing so as inheritance is involved over here i'll be uh, considering the cases of two classes so i'll be creating a class company a uh, inside it i am giving one uh, function that definition employ one with a self parameter this time i'm not using the name parameter and i'll just print it directly something that uh, the name of the first employee is john okay now similarly i'm creating another uh, class over here uh, that would be my class company b company b put a call on and inside it i am creating a same function to so pay attention over here that i am not using a different function name i'm using a same function name over here inside the b also so same function name in a and same function name in b so i'll be writing definition employee one self parameter inside it i'll be writing print name of the first employee is lisa is lisa now as we were talking about inheritance what i'll do i'll, uh, I'll consider this class b as a child class and consider this class uh, company a as a parent class so to convert it into a child class all we need to do is uh, over here i'll be writing company a so now uh, b is a child class which inherits all the properties from a okay now what if i try to print um, employ one over here what if i try to call employ one method with the help of the object so let's give it a try um i'll be writing e1 as an object inside it i'm passing uh, my class name so company b i'll be talking about the child class over here that's why i'll be writing company b if i try to call this function if i try to call a uh, function employ one over here by writing e1 dot emp1 and run this program what do you think it will print well if you have thought that it, it will print print the name of the first employee lisa then yes you are right what it is basically doing it is overriding it see now see what is happening over here is that employee one is there in company a and employee one is also there in company b because a is a parent class and b is a child class over here and b is inheriting all the methods from our company a so what b will do b will override a b will put uh, a aside and uh, itself will move forward for how it will move forward it will override it it will not use what is written inside the uh, employee one of company a it will use its own method it want to use its parents method over here now what if if you want to use a parent method over here if you want to use a parent method so there is this method over here in oop that is called as super function we will be using a super function over here so, so what super function over here does so when do we use this super function is very simple when we have similar methods name the name of the methods over here the name of the functions are similar at that time we can use a super method so that it can call the function of parent a as well so if i write super dot and the name of the function is employee one and now if i run it so let's use it i'll be writing super dot employee one and open close the bracket and open close the bracket right after the super as well so super function dot employee one now what this super uh, function dot employee one will do it will also allow us to use this uh, print statement with our employee one uh, method which is there in our company a so let's run and see so now that we have the name of the first employee is john and the name of the first employee is lisa so for for both the companies we have the first names over here how with the help of this super function so guys this method over here is called as the overriding method overriding method means when um 
when a child class inherit properties from a and both of them has the same methods over there it overrides while calling it with the object it overrides it and writes the and does the function which is there inside our class b at the same time to overcome this we have a super function so super function only works when we have similar names in both the classes and b is inheriting from a so guys this was polymorphism in oop i hope you guys have no doubts and no questions and in our next session we will be solving some problems related to the oop concept so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you